Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White Pro- Promises and Prayers, May 18th Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4 When we beseech the Lord to, p- to pity us in our distress, and to guide us by his Holy Spirit. He will never turn away our prayers. It is possible even for parents to turn away from the hungry child, but God can never reject the cry of needy and longing heart. With what wonderful tenderness he has described his love to those who in the day of darkness feel that God is unmindful of them This is the message from the Father's heart. Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet I will not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palm of my hands. Isaiah chapter 49 verses 14 to 16. Every promise in the word of God furnishes us with with subjects matters. Every word, every promise in the word of God furnishes us with subject matters for prayer, presenting the pledge word of Jehovah as our assurance. Whatever spiritual blessings we need, it is our privilege to claim through Jesus. We may tell the Lord with the simplicity of a child exactly what we need. We may state to him our temporal matters, asking for the bread and raiment, as well as for bread of life and the robe of Christ's righteousness. Your Heavenly Father knows that you need all these things and you are invited to ask him concerning them. It is through the name of Jesus that every favour is received. But do not forget that in coming to God as a father, you acknowledge your relation to him as a child. You you not only trust him, his goodness, but in all things yield to his will, knowing that his love is changeless. You will give yourself to do his work. It, it was to those who he had it was to those whom he had bidden to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness that Jesus gave the promise ask and you will receive John chapter 16 verse 24 the gift of him who has all power in heaven and earth are stored for the children of God Gifts so precious that they come to us through the costly sacrifice of the Redeemer's blood. Gifts that will satisfy the deep craving of the heart. Gifts that, gifts lasting as eternity will be received and enjoyed by all who will come to God as little children. Take God's word. Take, take God's promises as your own. Plead them before him as his own words and you will receive the fullness of joy homeward bound